I know nobody asked for this, but I'm going to put them out anyways. I have created a new film preset, namely Beyond Color. If you download them by purchasing them, you would have to import them. And this is how you do that. So this is a folder, select all, hit on import, and it shows up here. You have eight presets and I think, let me be very sure, you have one, two, three, plus a black and white preset, so four profiles. So eight presets, four profiles. You're looking at warm highlights. You're looking at teal shadows. You can manipulate them, change them in the direction you want. I think this will be a limited, so I'm just limiting it to 15 people. So it's going to be in stock for 15 purchases. And right after that, it goes out of stock. You know what, run to my web store and buy them. All right, let's run them through images I have created from different photographers. Some I shot myself, some I didn't shoot myself. Of course, that's why they are from different photographers. Okay, I want to make this video as short as possible. So let's quickly run through them as you can see. So this is the black and white. I always want to have a black and white preset in there. This is what my representation of film black and white is supposed to look like with a lot of greens. Let me turn off the info. So black and white, beyond film one, beyond film two, Beyond film three, four, five, six, and seven. So you pick your choice. I'll pick beyond film two. I feel it's too exposed. I'm going to reduce the exposure at that bit. And this is what we have before and after a film look. We have warm white. Let's reduce the effect of the greens at that bit just so it doesn't stand out but yeah this is what we are looking at right beautiful warm tones to give you that film look all right let's go to the next image so let's see the black and white making it look good this is bf01 contrasty gives you the punchiness you're looking for in film looks it has that orange and teal look also but minimally toned. So this is BF2, this is 3, 4. 4 is a cool tone of the BF2, which, which have been adjusted for people who are not interested in having warm tones. So yeah, look out for that. BF5, BF6, BF7. So I think I'll stick with BF3 for this. All right, let me bump up the highlights a little bit then i have this looking like this okay so let's move to this particular image this image has been cropped and a lot of things have been done to it to you know make it clean just like this so let's start from one or zero i mean the black and white the black and white looks great i like the leading lines it sends your attention to just the people being led to so this is BF1, BF2, BF3. Most of them are just a one-click solution. You just have to adjust the exposure, right? So I'll, I'll stick with BF6 for this. I just want it to be exaggerated. Let's reduce the contrast, you know, bring it down a tad bit. You can also reduce the amount of the profile being used. Let's increase the shadows a tad bit, reduce the highlights. I'm going to my color mixer and remove, because of the outfit, I'm going to remove purple, magenta, and a little bit of the blues and aqua. And we have this before and after. You can see the teal and the blacks. You know, to remove that, you know what to do. What's the opposite of teal? It's red. So you add red to the black to remove them if that's something you don't want. So you need to have knowledge of where you need to put certain colors and that can be done in color grading or tone curve so have that in mind not even using calibration let's go to the next image same wedding i'm going to go with bf4 just to cool it down reduce the highlights so i can have this okay so i think bf4 
was created purposely for this with respect to how i wanted you know the image to look like regarding the skin and all that so let's start from one two three four five six and seven so between three and four right there's a trick i wanted to show you guys so opening your mask pick up your linear gradient so let's create that bloom effect for film images so if i toggle this on it will show you that all the whole image has been selected with the mask i'm going to come into my effect reduce texture and clarity then looking at what the image has turned to we hit on minus let's subtract the luminance values or using the luminance range we're going to limit it to just the highlights mostly you see bloom in highlights and not in shadows so let's make sure it's limited to the highlighted areas of the image right let's reduce it make sure highlights highlights all right when i toggle this off take a look at this it gives you that filmy look what then you can do is to reduce the amount of it you don't want too much and i just need something little to give you that film look and you still have your skin textures intact you can add more you know greens to this to sell what you're looking for okay next image with greens let's see let's start with this particular one bf07 i'm going to increase it you're looking at the orange and teal look on this particular image we can remove the blues from the outfit because you know white has that effect and let's increase this and bring back the highlights you know you can reduce the temperature also to give you a different look it depends on what you're looking out for so just play with the white balance and the exposure the all the other work has been done within the profiles if you feel the profile amount is too much you can reduce it just to give you a customized look so you're looking at something i have done at a higher rate and if you want to customize it you can either reduce the intensity of the profiles you know readjust some settings and you're good to go i mean who doesn't like their work done i love this black and white but i want to show you other edits for this particular image so you see there are different film looks for this i love this too i like what the blues are doing and the blacks i like what the greens are doing together with the yellows you know that's a film looking me so yeah let's keep it at black and white and take a look at that very beautiful if you'd want to reduce the highlights you can do that but i'm just going to keep it here jump to the next image you're eight minutes in already all right let's see two three four five i'm going to stick with five you know um, i don't want to lose the can take colors also so yeah this is what we have with detail shots and decor shots and all i would advise you use bf7 or six to give you that stylized look this then add some blues in there yeah this is the original orange and teal okay as you can see so what we can do is reduce the amount of the profile i'm going to zoom in into my blacks i see a lot too like i said if you want to adjust them you can come here so in the blacks which will be my shadows i'm going to introduce some amount of reds so take a look at that by introducing reds i reduce the amount of teal in this particular image i still keep my orange and teal look by reducing how intensified the teal is in the blacks and there we have it beautiful all right let's go to the next image i can go through this I'm going to stick oh i think i like this this is clean different from this still keeping some colors there beautiful okay 
onto this image four or five four three two one zero four to keep it cool toned i love it let's go here too i think four will work for this too Ooh. three if i'm looking for that warm look but i want to have the film look together with a little bit cleaner look with a reduced you know temperature so let me reduce the exposure reduce the highlights maybe bump up the exposure a tad bit okay and there we have this before and after next i made sure to create each preset for specified looks some for dress up images some for you know exclusives some for reception images like this so this was shot during the reception so i'm going to use bf05 for this i'm going to bring back the highlights maybe you warm it up a tad bit and what we can do I like the look it's giving them, right? But I want them to be warm. I, I need that warm glow on the couple. So I'll create a mask, come to color, and warm it up over here. And by warming it up, I give them that look. I'm going to add some greens, you know, and warm it up. More greens, and warm it up. Just so beautiful. So that's what we're looking at before and after let's go to this particular image too let's run through what will work and what wouldn't so black and white bf2 let's reduce the exposure and reduce the highlights and this is what we are looking at very beautiful let's go to this particular image let's see bf6 be a five, four, three, two, one. One looks good, one looks perfect. Let's see BF7. Yeah, BF7 looks much better. What I'll do to this is to reduce the luminosity of the oranges just so I can have their dark skin and a little bit of the hue, you know, just so that we're on the same page increase the shadows a tad bit bring back the highlights there we go oh, we have a lot of images i would want to skip some you know let's make sure we have just a one click solution for some of them so four three two i'm going to leave two on this i want i want the warm whites and warm shadows warm skin tones we can do bf7 for this and also increase the exposure or we can do bf1 and bring back the exposure and the highlights and reduce this or bf6 i mean the loose keeps going on and on and on but i'm going to keep this come here into my color grading shadows and add a little bit of reds to the shadows to reduce what did we say the teal in the shadows so it's all dependent on what you're looking out for. All right. I make sure to teach you guys this on how to customize or personalize them, what to look out for, for images of different caliber, just so that you don't say, oh, I just put it out for you guys to use and I didn't say anything about it and you guys don't know how to use it. And you know, I am swindling you of your money, but no. All right, BF4, BF5. BF3. I'll do BF4 and I'll reduce the exposure a tad bit. And there I have it before and after. I can do BF5 if I want the skin to move back. I'm still going to get my warm highlights as usual. BF1. No, BF2. If that's what I'm going for. Uh, black and white. BF7. Perfect. Okay, let's take a BF4 for this. For this particular image, let's see, BF7, BF6, 
0.210. So I can do BF7, make a few adjustments, you know, lift up this, open up this, come into calibration. I rearranged my calibration, so don't pay attention to it. Push the tint towards the reddish and come back to my color mixer if I want the greens to look this way. So I'm going to, you know, bring them back this way. Then what do I do? Open up the exposure and cool it down a tad bit. And there, uh, we've customized, personalized it. And as much as I have other presets to make this look the way I want, you can have one and change them to the way you want. And you can even save them in accordance. Next image. Let's see. Six, five, four, three, two. So we can do four. And let's warm this up. You can even increase the vibrance. And there you go. This particular image, I love the black and white for this. It gives that look, you know, bring this down a little bit and that. Or we can go the long route. Let's make sure this works for us. So BF7, we're going to reduce this a tad bit. You're looking good already. What then I can do is to come into color mixer hue skin tones let me bring them back towards the reds a little bit and there we have it a wonderful moment captured by my dear friend apex in london doing a good job doing the lord's work okay next image same guy black and white easy sweet filmy dreamy good to go you know let's use bf2 for this walking down the aisle shot never miss it this is the orange this is the typical orange and teal look very saturated we can do the other film look with the muted white and muted warm white so i think i'm going to go with four muted warm white yeah and there we have it before and after in a gray so bf7 for this we can open up the shadows, which is the highlights, open up the shadows a tad bit this way. If you want to warm it up, you warm it up a little bit. And let's straighten this transform, hit on auto. Yeah, and we're good to go. As the same image here, so I'm going to hit on previous, it's going to pick up the previous edit and put it on it. So, same BF7 on this, and we can apply it here too. Okay this crazy let's use straight orange and teal and you're good to go or we can use bf7 or bf1 you know dependent on what you're looking out for i had an orange and teal reduce the highlight reduce the amount maybe introduce some blacks i'm good to go let's run through some colors the one two three i like the the way it mutes the blues you know it's all there this i'm going to pick this the orange and teal look and warm it up let's keep warming it up get it right there reduce this and take a look at that Okay, let's bring this back a little bit. Okay, before and after. Add a little bit of dehaze and increase this up. Okay, I did mention decor pictures orange and teal, yes? So BF6, or you can use BF7, or you can use BF1. But I'm going to take a BF6, boost up the colors. Reduce the highlights. Do some transform to fix the orientation. Good to go. BF1, BF2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Let's take a BF4, all 3. 
yeah in as much as it's a warm image i still like what the bfc is doing let's do bf7 for this or bf6 the orange and teal look making it look good bf6 five four three two i mean everything works you can just run through all of them and you would find what you're looking for punchy colorful orange and teal less saturated you know that's all there they're gonna do bf7 for this i want the black and white for this this screams black and white we can do orange and teal look we can do bf7 we can do bf5 bf4 bf3 bf2 bf1 bf3 for this looks good the subtle it still gives me the film look i'm looking out for very good i'm gonna do bf7 for this the guys the main let's see black and white look Oof. sweet if you've been seeing this on my instagram story i used bf3 for this what i did use the highlights maybe fix the crop and there you go but there are other loops that will work and you might run through them you see them yourself this is bf1 and that was bf3 this is bf4 the bf4 you make an adjustment it works also so bring down bring this down open the highlights and there you go bf1 too also works reduce the contrast a little bit because it's too contrasty and there you go all right this image i really don't know which one to use because everything works beautifully shot by my friend brakao photography very beautiful every preset works for this all right i i am still in that dilemma wondering or figuring out which one would work I think I'll still, I'll still go four. The four, four is best. And the last image for today's video, I'm going to pick the orange and teal look. Oof. I like the BF7. I mean, they are all orange and teal looks readjusted in different ways just to suit your taste for reception, for outdoor images, for exclusives, you know, and so on and so forth, and church images and all just have to find pick what you feel will work for you adjust them and you're good to go i love this this is what i have been dealing with i love this also i love how there are different tones of colors this sort of warms everything up you're losing the differential colors in there i'm going to stick with this let's see one muted two filmy everyone has a potential i stick with this Reduce the highlights, right? Dehaze a little bit more. And remember the film look then I taught you guys. I'm going to drag this all the way up. Reduce texture, reduce clarity. Let's do 70, 50. When I'm done, I'm going to limit it within just the highlights. You know, drag it until it's just within the highlights yeah that should look good before and after before and after you're looking at a very filmic scenery shot by my friend Brackow. okay this is what you're looking at before and after i mean i did some removal earlier just to make it look very clean but yeah this is what we have before and after before and after 15 sales for this particular presets beyond film it's customizable i made it purposely for myself and for my wedding brand i'm going to be using it more looking into next year when i start fully integrating myself into the wedding industry 
so grab a copy link in the description to my digital store my web store the shop which also has a new look so you'll be able to see the before and afters of the images if you if you don't have the time to come and watch them here on my youtube it's available on the web store swipe left and right for any of my products i'm selling on there link in the description thank you for watching this video thank you for supporting the brand thank you for bringing me this far and i'll see you in my next release which will be the capture one i'm still testing i'm still in the testing phase so i'll see you peace